So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Q&A of the week. And today we're going to be talking about your name and why it is important in your life and why it has been chosen the way it's chosen. Because the question that was put to me, okay, is by... Um, Hold on. Who is it by? It's by Rohan Amare. So Rohan says, in India, traditionally the name assigned at birth is chosen based on the moon nakshatra sound. But what if the name assigned is not as per the moon nakshatra? How does an individual name affects their life? So, very, very good question. Very interesting question. Now, the thing is, there's a pool of thought out there that says that astrologers back in the days used moon nakshatra to name an individual because they didn't know how to look at the ascendant. They didn't have time of births. Or they may not have known how to calculate things. And then you want to sit back. That a society, a culture... A theosophical society like India created the Vedantas, Vedas, Surya Siddhanta. Thousands and thousands of years ago. And here you're telling me that they chose the moon nakshatra because of the fact they, they didn't know how to calculate the ascendants. So they just started giving moon nakshatras. That's a bunch of baloney. Absolutely. Because I'll tell you why. Moon nakshatra is chosen. First of all, I'm not saying if it's right or wrong, why Moon Nakshatra is chosen. The reason why everybody or most of the people in India who follow the Vedic system are named after their Moon Nakshatra because our society is first based on God realization, is first based on burning of karmas, is based on going to the higher levels, higher lokas. That's the number one thing. That they always induced and infused in every child. So what is then the purpose of using a moon nakshatra? Because moon is the hard drive of the karmas. There's a reason why it's so close to us. There is this particular Wi-Fi signal upon every single individual in this life. And moon beams out these trillions and trillions of signals beyond our... Uh, technical understanding right now. But the thing is, the main reason why Moon Nakshatra was chosen is so the individual can start burning their karmas off. Why is that? Why is choosing the name by the Nakshatra sound of the moon makes you do that? Because of the fact, okay, when your name is chosen by the sound of a nakshatra where moon was in, you're activating that moon constantly. Whether it's your mother calling your name, your father calling your name, your boss calling your name, your friends calling your name. Every time they call your name, they are activating this notion of, hey, pay your karmas off. Whatever debt you owe to someone, pay it now. That's the main reason. That was the original reason why. Now you can come to this analysis, your, your modern analysis that, well, what if the nakshatra is based on the moon? Or, I'm sorry, based on the ascendant? Based on some other planet? Like, there's sounds of planets themselves. You got to understand that there's sounds of planets themselves. Then there's sounds of nakshatra themselves. So, for example, somebody could be named, okay, uh, with like, let's say, Naveen. Somebody is named by the name of Naveen. That pretty much lands in, I believe, Anuradha Nakshatra or Jeshta Nakshatra. Let's say Mars is in the fifth house as a Cancer Ascendant. Mars is in the fifth house in Scorpio in the sound of Na. And your name is Navi. So what is happening is because yours is not connected with moon. 
your yoga karka now becomes active. So yes, what happens is from the ascendant, Mars becomes the strongest planet for cancer. It's a yoga karka. It's the most benefit planet. So a person starts to find success through competitive things, defeating competition, sports, technology. Now the question that becomes, how much karma are they paying off? They're still paying off karma. It's just because your name is not based on your moon nakshatra. The reason behind naming you after moon nakshatra is so that process can be accelerated. That's all there is. It's kind of like Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga, you know, originally given by Maha Aftar Babaji, or we call it now Sri Guru Babaji. Um, it's the way to accelerate your ability to go to uh, God. Because it, say, it says that without any uh, process, it'll take million years for a single soul to automatically have God realization. After going through multiple, multiple lives and species and plants, they'll ultimately get it. But if you want to take a F-14 jet to that particular area of God realization, you do Kriya. Same notion is here. When your moon, when your name is based after moon, you're accelerating that karma. And specifically, not just the nakshatra, the padha. Right? Like, for example, Ashwini's Chu Chi Chola. So, is your name starting with Chu or Chi? That also becomes very important because that really triggers that karma. Now, the other thing that I'm going to say here that I'm going to add on, something to research. I'm actually not going to say much about this. Something to research. Look at the names of people that are named by gods and goddesses. Ram, you know, Vishnu, Shiva, Shankar, Krishna, Lakshmi, Parvati, Jesus, like Jesus or Jesus or Joshua is the name of Christ. Notice their life patterns and patterns of the gods that they're named after. That's an interesting subject. That's something interesting to understand and look at. I have seen people that were named actually after the nakshatra themselves. Rohini. I still remember two of these cases. One was a person named Rohini and they were living in Rohini, New Delhi. The other person name was Rohini and they were musicians. Because Rohini is music, beauty, arts, creativity. So yes, your name has your status, your power, prestige, and your karma. Your name does not necessarily mean wealth. So let's not think about, well, changing my name will change my luck and change my wealth. No. It changes your status. For example... You have a billionaire here, somebody who's a billionaire, have all the wealth, okay? And they're standing right there. Then you have, let's say, Yogananda sitting right next to them or standing right next to them. So who really has the biggest wealth? And that becomes very subjective. But the thing is, it is the power, the respect, the prestige that quickly, automatically will be given to Yogananda. You know, I mean, if I, I guarantee if Yogananda was alive, Steve Jobs would have hired him as a secondary CEO of Apple. So these are the things we have to take into understand, uh, understanding. You know, like, for example, if somebody is named after, like, Ma, me, mo, m. Well, there's a strong link with ancestors. Ancestral karma has to be burnt off in this life. You will also either own a ancestral land of your own family or you will buy a land which is known as the ancestral land. So these are the things you have to understand. So when you name anything or anyone, not just the nakshatra, that matters, 
the nakshatra sound that matters or if it's moon or other planet that matters but what is the actual name what is the name of meaning of the name and like i said research look at all the gods that have come and look at the life they have lived how was their life and then match it for example there's a very uh, this is actually another subject that can become look at the lives of people from the original mahabharata and ramayana by uh, who was that um bk chopra i guess it was uh, yash chopra's brother look at the lives of all the people who played krishna ram lakshman ravan they literally i do know some of them went deep into spirituality after that their lives changed because they played that character they were known as that character shri ram krishna arjun you know bhishma pitama so name has importance but it, it it's always connected with karma the burning of karma which karma you're burning your respect and your status and your fame but fame does not translate into money status may not translate into money and burning karma does not translate into money that's something that i discussed last time which was with vastu and i believe last time too i forgot to mention like once i did those brick remedies in the kitchen i came across piety lifelong friendships dr pai and thieb togi e i mean my connections became active in life and yes it's not just the bathroom it's not just the kitchen but the bathroom itself was away from the home it wasn't part of the home and yes so a bathroom is somewhere one thing i've seen more with ba- uh, uh, with bathroom and toilets is not just necessarily loss of money but it really is concerned with health area and it concerns with expenses and wastage of money which again you can say loss of money but it will not stop the wealth at least in my understanding it may not you know but the main thing was the kitchen the fire element what area is burning because it's going to burn some area in your life you know so if you're covering this from last time i wanted to kind of cover this because remember why do we uh, use vastu which house what is vastu vastu is related to home real estate it's like feng shui which house is in your birth chart represents home the fourth house what is the fourth house home land real estate but comfort and happiness it is the first of the moksha houses it is where you feel comforted and you're resting and you're sleeping at night in your mother's womb or in your mother's cradle or on your bed so whether you are a person who's making 60000 a year or whether you're a person who's make 60 million a year you're a billionaire there's no billionaire out there who's saying well i have all the money in the world how do i find misery where do i look for misery right not nobody's a buddha actually purposely looking for misery everybody's looking for happiness and that's the point of vastu it's like what makes you feel happy even if you're making the most mediocre money you'll be like my god i've never been so happy and ecstatic in my life this is the whole purpose of vastu so i just wanted to combine that you know with the um this question of name actually there's another question related to retrograde planets but i might cover that tomorrow cuz i'm about to have a 4th of july party happy birthday you was so yes happy birthday thank you our forefathers for making this the greatest greatest country in the world and i love this country i love india too anyway guys if you're new to my channel subscribe below so you don't miss this type of videos if you want to know where your okay planetary placements are what your name is compared to the planetary sounds for that check out the links here kirsastrology.com where you'll also find the link to my academy magavit astrology academy along with my consultations and reports all right we'll see you later and remember i'm going to upload the video on vastu vastu on my academy once i get back to my home away from this cabin all right bye bye